Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to look into the second edition of Nations at War. This is the White Star Rising game. It's a new reprint, just came out from Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, it's a World War II uh, series game, very solo friendly. Um, the other two uh, in the series, Desert Heat and Stalin's uh, Triumph, are uh, also both uh, part of the same uh, Nations at War series. They've all been reprinted to include all of the uh, all the expansions that you used to have to get piecemeal that you maybe couldn't find. Uh, everything's now included in one box. Um, uh, and then has been given the, uh, the, uh, the, the new lock and load treatment. Uh, so we should find that this has the, uh, the uh, nicer rule book, the uh, rounded counters. Uh, everything you're expecting now from Lock and Load and their, their great new printing system. Uh, so let's crack the seal, see what you get inside. This is the only one I've ever played in the past. And it was really good. Um, the uh, the chip pull system uh, just just works great. You don't need any charts. Um, because all, the, all the information needs on the counters. Uh, one of those where uh, strength of the unit is uh, how many died in a roll, and then their two hit number uh, is going to tell you what they need to roll on the six sided die. So let's open it up. The version I had before was a slightly smaller box, and then you had to buy the expansions and maps and all that kind of stuff. So this is uh, the first thing you get here is the core manual 2.0. So just like Lock and Load Tactical, uh, you're going to have a system rule book for the Nations at War series, and that'll give you all the, the good details that you need to know. And it is laid out uh, pretty much like uh, the Lock and Load Tactical, um, obviously with the rules for, for Nations at War, but uh, uh, you know, larger print, uh, easy to read, easy to find, good reference book. Okay, uh, it comes in just 36 pages. All right. Um, in fact, uh, the maps and all the Nations at War series have changed. We have changed the map lettering and numbers and town names to names of actual towns fought in the regions in which the battles were fought, found in the regions where the battles were fought. These map changes have been made within White Star Rising 2nd Edition, Desert Heat 2nd Edition. Encloses a key that was changed. So if you have the old version, uh, you'll no longer look for uh, Shadow Row. It'll now be Berezmenal. And if uh, I mispronounced that, then please forgive me because I'm pretty sure I did. So uh, this works on a headquarter uh, system. You have headquarters and um, uh, secondary headquarters that are all, your units have to be in range of them to be able to function correctly. So you get it done. Rule book and a couple of dice. With the module rules. With all the scenarios. There's lots of scenarios, including a tutorial, which is awesome. And this runs into, it tells you the order of battle, victory conditions for each battle. Uh, about 53, 54, 55 pages. Good quality. Now our counters. This is great because I. I had the old, you know, the sprue counters, you know, you did the, the die cut, and you, had to, <clears throat> you had to cut them around them yourself. In fact, I got this, and uh, uh, in a trade, not this copy, but the, the original version, and the guy, not the guy I got it from, he, he didn't know, um, <clears throat> the guy he got it from, it just totally hacked up the counters, you know. I mean, I'm not a big fan of X-Acto blades, and... Uh, fingernail clippers and stuff for doing counters, but uh, this guy, this guy just, man, they were uneven. They were, they weren't even, they weren't even, I make the joke about octagons, they weren't even octagons. They were uh, whatever eight sided, beastly shape you could call them. So I actually paid for <coughs> replacement counters of the original set and got those. And then uh, when I found this was coming out, I passed that one along. And, uh, was ready for this one. So back to get away from my reminiscence and look at what's actually in the box. Beautiful counters, much, much improved over the previous edition. And again, you should have all the counters from all the expansions. So we got two of four, four of four. 
nice and thick. These are going to be your uh, activation chits because it is a chip pool. And you got headquarters and then the uh, formations, the, the, the units under that formation. Mm -hmm. They are <coughs> nice and thick. They've done a really good job here with uh, updating their printing system. These are just a, a delight to punch and play. You can get you can get playing immediately. You don't have to sit there and try to clean up your counters. In fact, you'll have the counters played before you hear the rules. All right, so ops complete, out of command. Uh, if you are range of your uh, your HQ for your formation. Four sheets of counters. All right. We got maps. There's a geomarket maps. So that's a lot nicer than I remember the others looking. So we got map one, two, three, and four. And are they double sided? They are double sided. Which is another, another thing you end up pay extra, I believe, to get the uh, the winter versions of the maps. So take a look at map two here. If I can get my fingers to work. All right, so you got map two, spring and summer. And here's what looks like when snow falls. So you obviously have different terrain conditions based on the weather. So some of the missions will be obviously on one side of the map or the other. Let's go and show you the other. Get this one at it. Map one. That's gold. It's gold. Map four. Ooh, coastal. Some water going on here. It's frozen. Burr. And last one not least, map three, I believe. So then being geomorphic, obviously, you can put them together to fight larger battles. All right, what else we got going here? We have a terrain effects chart. Okay. And that's bonus movement cost concealment samples. Very nice. We've got a chaos table, which is random events. Awesome. This is a fun system. I'm excited to play this and the other two unit point cost sheet. Uh, this is a uh, some of you are putting uh, scenarios together yourself. It's more points to build your army. I forgot that part before. This is the, for the British. It's a player aid to NATO symbols, which should be included in every war game. Sorry, guys, but I don't memorize them. I think I'm finally learning infantry. Big X. All right, so we got the uh, German forces. This, one's, this one was single sided. This one is two two pages and double sided. So this has got a rule reference, and then the German point cost, which is there. And I assume this has rule reference. And then yeah, it's, yeah, same rule reference. And then the American forces. All right, so excited big time about this one here. This is uh, this is White Star Rising. Uh, the f this was the first first in the uh, uh, Nations at War series, and out of all three, have been reprinted uh, in the in the nice new style uh, with all the uh, expansions and stuff. Some of which were hard to get uh, combined into one. So. You get two uh, rule references, player cost sheets, you get a unit cost sheets, a uh, unit cost sheet for the British forces if you need it, as well as a player read, uh, the NATO symbols, and turn track, gas table, terrain chart, four geomorphic maps that are double sided with winter terrain, four nice sheets of counters. Uh, looks like these are all about, about three quarter. Three quarter inch counters. That's my guess. 
Let's go ahead and double check here and measure. And I am correct. They are three quarters inch counters. So very nice. You get your module rules and scenarios. Dose dice and 2.0 core manual. That is what's going to come in the box. Here it's White Star Rising 2nd Edition Nations at War series. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.